My name is uh, Thomas Jang. I'm a urologic oncologist at the Cancer Institute of New Jersey in the Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. So prostate cancer afflicts uh, more than 190,000 Americans and uh, we were interested in a study of whether uh, the types of physicians that men with localized prostate cancer see affects the ultimate treatment that they receive. What we found was very remarkable. Uh, over 50 per, about 50 percent of patients uh, were seen exclusively uh, by a urologist. Uh, 44 percent visited a urologist and a radiation oncologist. 3 percent visited a urologist and a medical oncologist. And 3 percent saw all three specialists. Uh, the type of treatment uh, was strongly associated with the type of physician that we're seeing. For example, uh, for men aged 65 to 69 who saw exclusively a urologist, 70 percent of these men ultimately received a radical prostatectomy or surgery to remove the prostate. While men in corresponding age group who saw a radiation oncologist and a urologist invariably got radiation therapy. Though our research findings uh, are not surprising, uh, they are very significant because it really shows that the type of uh, physicians that men visit after a prostate cancer diagnosis can influence the therapy that they ultimately receive. So our recommendations to patients uh, and physicians is that patients should seek a balanced perspective on all the available treatment options uh, available to them uh, once they have a diagnosis of localized prostate cancer. And on a physician's perspective, it's our job to ensure that patients uh, are presented with a balanced perspective on all their available treatment options.